his senior. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Yetsi Madeiros. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Medeiros gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Slips the left hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Wood. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Escobar Bush, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick. That was the most tonight. The biggest shot that he landed all night. A massive uppercut win. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And continues with the inside leg kick. All right, he engages in the single. Oh, nice grab by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Nice punch, land. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Medeiros. It's okay. Big leg kick, land. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Combinations here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. His timing is on point. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Okay. 
All right, second round underway. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yetsia Makino! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is...